All right, folks. So today we are going to examine a tweet from one of, if not the dumbest members of Congress. I'm, of course, talking about Lauren Boebert, and she's trying to make some sort of a point here. I don't think she's making the point that she thinks she's making, but it's very obvious that she's trying to troll the libs. But she ends up just basically tacitly admitting that she's a complete moron. Now, I don't want to give you much more setup than that. I, I just want to read it to you and see if you can make heads or tails of this, because this was genuinely confusing to me. Like, I didn't understand what she was trying to say. So she writes, I woke up with a headache this morning. OK, I took some Tylenol. All right. Makes sense. Now, if everyone else could take some Tylenol, too, so mine would start working, that would be great. What? So I saw this when I first woke up. And I thought, I know she's stupid, but do I just need to have my coffee before I revisit this? What the fuck is she trying to even say? And I was just so confused. I know that there was a point buried in there somewhere, but trying to decipher the stupidity was really, really tough for me. But um, apparently the point is that the COVID-19 vaccines are bad. Now, if you're wondering how we get from point A to point B, well, it's sort of a gotcha uh, or a gotcha on her part, rather. So if the vaccines provide you with protection, then why do you care if other people take vaccines? So, you know, she's drawing this parallel. You know, if I have a headache, then why do I care if other people take Tylenol? If you want the vaccine, get the vaccine. If not, then don't. That's basically the point that she's trying to make. And it's a really, really stupid point because headaches are in no way similar to contagious viruses. In fact, headaches are not viruses. So when it comes to viruses, the way that we treat those and we treat headaches is very different. And furthermore, the reason why if you're already vaccinated and protected yourself, you want other people in your community to get vaccinated as well is because unlike headaches, vaccines mutate every single time that they spread. And it's only a matter of time until a vaccine resistant strain emerges. So everyone who's vaccinated should want other people to get vaccinated as well. So we reduce the spread and reduce the likelihood that a vaccine resistant strain emerges. So she is demonstrating to the world here that she's incredibly stupid. I mean, this is Dunning-Kruger in action. But I wanted to talk about this because the response was fucking hilarious. Because it was such a stupid point, and because she was so arrogant, the internet ripped her to shreds. And that's what I want to share with you, because this put a smile on my face. So this person wrote, Bobo isn't the sharpest knife in the toolbox. And they shared an image uh, that says, Lauren Boebert, like Sarah Palin, but somehow dumber. And this is accurate. And uh, it's sad. It's sad more than anything. Like, it is funny, but it's genuinely sad because it's so true. You just can't even parody this kind of stupid. It's how you know that on some level, evolution has failed us. John Idarola writes, Tylenol doesn't treat brain worms. <laughs> true. Imagine being this proud of being this stupid. At first, I was going to respond, headaches aren't contagious, but then I caught one from reading this stupid ass tweet. That's a great point. Betty Bowers writes, while this makes no sense, it did make me smile. Loons like Lauren Boebert are claiming religious exemptions from COVID vaccines because fetal cell lines were used to develop and test them. You know what else was tested and developed with fetal cell lines? Tylenol. Love that. Um, you have this meme from the Spider-Man movie. You know, I'm something of a fucking idiot myself. It's just unbelievable. This is a member of Congress who doesn't understand anything about the way that the world works like i'm not expecting her to be a virologist but maybe just having a basic level of common sense would help if you're a lawmaker but lauren bobert she's not just a moron she's also possibly a criminal who should be investigated for her involvement in the january 6th insurrection and also she should probably be investigated for campaign finance violations because she reportedly used campaign funds for her own personal use as cnn's frederica shouten explains colorado representative lauren bobert paid utility and rent bills with campaign funds according to a new filing the republican lawmaker made this week with the federal election commission the report submitted to the fec on tuesday details a series of four payments this year totaling six thousand six hundred fifty dollars 
The John Pacheco, whose address is the same as Shooter's Grill in Rifle, Colorado, the gun-themed restaurant that Bilbert owns. The payments are described as rent and utilities that had been erroneously billed to the campaign. Bilbert refused to answer CNN's questions Thursday. In an email, her spokesperson, Ben Stout, said the funds in question were reimbursed months ago when Representative Bilbert self-reported the error. It is against the law to use campaign funds for personal use, and Adam Nadi, a top official with the nonpartisan campaign legal center, said using donors' money to pay rent and utilities is a flagrant violation. There are some gray areas in campaign finance law, and this is really not one of them, added Nodi, a former associate general counsel at the FEC. So look, I'm fair. It could be a reporting error. It could just be a mistake. Except this isn't the only red flag when it comes to her possibly violating campaign finance laws. This year, Accountable.us, a liberal watchdog group, asked a congressional ethics office to examine what it called exorbitant campaign reimbursements to Boebert for mileage expenses during the 2020 campaign, detailed by the Denver Post. And last month, as first reported by the Associated Press, Boebert's required financial disclosure report showed her husband made more than $478,000 in 2020 in consulting services from Terra Energy Productions. He also made $460,000 from the firm in 2019, according to the filing. Boebert's financial disclosure report during the 2020 campaign, however, had not disclosed that income. Federal law and rules require candidates and federal office holders to disclose the sources of their spouse's incomes, along with their investments, so voters are aware of potential conflicts of interest. And what I would argue is that where there's smoke, there's usually fire, and there's enough there, there to where she should be seriously investigated. So she's not just an idiot. She's also possibly a criminal and i'm going to uh, make sure i tell people about people about this whenever i bring up lauren bobert someone like this should not be in congress let's be real there's so many members of congress who are not qualified to serve but lauren bobert is like among one of the top 10 that shouldn't be there she's just a complete idiot she has nothing to offer no valid input she knows nothing about policy or the world really and honestly if she cared about america as much as she sh she says she does she would resign because i feel like if you're going to serve in congress you at least need some brain cells that still function but this is someone who is barely a functioning adult and she's talking about how tylenol and headaches are contagious that's I mean, she's not saying that, but, like, the implication is that vaccines are bad and viruses are like headaches. It's just, it's too much stupidity. I'm so sick of this. I mean, it's not like she's unlike other Americans. I think she's probably representative of many Americans because there's a lot of stupidity in this country. But still, you're a member of Congress. Grow the fuck up. Do better for fuck's sake.